Ahora sí, vénganse. Quédense juntos todos. Apúrenle. Espérense allá. ¡Ándale! Está adelante y se quedan juntos, ¿eh? Bienvenidos a los juntos. Bienvenidos. Quédense juntos. Me séquense juntos. Espérense allá. Bienvenidos a los Estados Unidos. ¡Ándale! No te dije. Ya eres americano. ¿Pero? Sí, señor, aquí tengo un poco. Dilo. Ahí me trajeron. Ojos. Complexión. Un poco fácil. You, follow me. Siete, ¿Dónde say. entro a Estados Unidos? No sé. Espérate. Hey, Ski, where'd you put down that game in? Uh, E6. Uh, what time did you put? 4 p.m., it's all right? Yeah, it's good enough for government work. Uh, Vámonos, no, no. dígame. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Join the party, Jack. Grab a Guatemalan. Or maybe you'd rather have an El Salvadorian. There's plenty to go around. You catch him, you clean him. Ah, uh, Willie, what do you got? Two groups. A guy split with their money, left these poor bastards rambling around in the brush for two days with no food. Do you think they're part of that San Canyon bunch? No way, Jeb. Too sloppy. Tienes dinero? Si, senor. Aquí tengo un poco. Esto es lo que tengo conmigo. Occupation. Cartatero. Nombre de esposa. Beatriz Amador. Hey, pal. Where can I find the senior officer? That's me. Who are you? Fonte, sir. Jimmy Fonte. I've been sent out here on detail from New York. Oh, hey, you're a day late. I kept getting lost. Yeah, well, where are the others? Other, sir. They didn't send anybody else with you? Not as far as I know, sir. Oh, jeez. I asked for a dozen extra hands and they send one. I guess they feel one grunt from New York is worth 12 men. That right, Bunty? I kind of doubt that, sir. Uh, no more, sir. Just call me Jeff, okay? Right, Jeff. Uh, let me see now. Hey, where are you taking him? Hold on, Ben. This one's a Puyero. Let me get your name. What's a Puyero? He's a guide. Son of a bitch, preys on these other poor people. Hey, Willie. Willie. This is uh, Jimmy Fante? Fante. Willie, uh, show him around. Fill him in. Hey, come on, this way. My name's Willie Lambert. Yeah. Give me that. Over here. All right, now then, you look at this map. See, this here is our sector. That's about uh, 1,200 square miles, uh, maybe a thousand canyons. Now, 10 years ago, we were lucky if we caught 100 aliens a month. But right now, we're in the middle of a damned invasion. They're running right over us. Last summer, this little station pulled in over 3,000 a month. And for every one we caught, three of them slipped past us. Como te llamas? Quantos años, uh, Kenis? How's your Spanish? Impeccable. Impeccable. We can use a lot of impeccable around here. Well, well, wait, maybe uh, impeccable was too strong a word. Well, whatever it is, you just sit down here next to Mr. Monroe and practice your Spanish. Charlie Monroe, this is uh, Jimmy Fonte. Okay, let me find you somebody here. Let's see. You, sir. Por favor. ¿Cómo se llama? Miguel Fernando Jesús Gómez. No soy mojado porque tengo mi carta verde. Mi mamá y mi papá viven en los Estados Unidos. Un momento. Nomás que iba un right no. No tenía un right para los Estados Unidos. ¿Cómo se llama? Miguel Fernando Jesús Gómez. No, no. ¿Es fun? <laughs> Rodríguez, Roberto, González, Ernesto, Arzate, Víctor, González, José. Mira, vale más que tú te metes en estos camiones. Es que no puedo, te digo, señor. Es no, it doesn't rain. That might rain. What's the matter? Your ass is really dragging. You look down, Scooter. Oh, he's a little tired of it. Chase these Mexicans all over these goddamn hills. You catch them one day and they're back the next. Now, there's a young kid in there. I caught him four times this month myself. But just look at it this way. If they didn't keep running, you'd be out of a job. What's happening, kid? I don't know. Is it always like this? I just processed an old man. 
who sold his tailor shop and gave up his life savings to come here. Now he's got nothing. His whole life went down the drain, and I watched it. Well, you're going to hear a lot of sad stories, so don't let it get to you. What's coming down, Chief? We're supposed to assist Chula tonight. Work Otay Mesa. All the men they got up there, they want assistance? Well, there ain't but four of us on duty tonight to cover this whole sector. Yeah, I know, but the orders just came down. There's a bunch coming through, and we have to give them some help. Me, Willie, and the kids, we'll take the Mesa. You can work sensor traffic. You get a chance, drop down around Takati. Have a look around down there, will you? Come on, kid. Sleep tight, America. Your tax dollars are hard at work. Training. You know what a sensor is? No. Well, I'll show you. seismic sensor. You step on it, anywhere near it, it sends a signal to Lamigra, telling him exactly where you are. By the time you hit the road, they're waiting for you with a Greyhound bus. Take it back home. How'd you know that was there? My guides got busted coming through here last week. See those trails crisscross? That's right, planted if I was in. You're pretty smart for a white guy. Uncle Sam spent a lot of bread in Nam teaching me how to be. Okay, we split up here. You take your group up that trail. Horse trailer will meet you on the road. Megan say! Venganse por acá. Vámonos. El grupo mío. Sígame. Síganle. Amiguito, tú vete conmigo. Vámonos.
¡Ándale! ¡Apúrate! ¡Apúrate! ¡Pronto! ¡Púrense! ¡Pásame detrás! No, I just got here. Good time. Oh, wait, wait. Why don't you ride up in front with me? It smells like a cattle truck back here. Gringo, with you this time of night, that'd be like waving a red flag at La Migra. Sorry. No, no, no me dejen, no. No te vamos a dejar. Tienes suerte, amiguito. Vas a montar en el frente con el chofer. Speak English? Yes. You understand me? Yes, sir. Yes. Good boy. He's your son. Ever had a son before, Miranda's? But all I know, I am father to half the little bastards in Tijuana. ¿Qué te llamas, carnalito? Benito. Benito Morales, señor. ¿De dónde vienes? La Ciudad de México. Ay, chihuahua. Tan lejos viene. Sí. ¿Vienes solo? Sí, señor. Pero no por mucho tiempo. Ahorita voy a estar con mi madre en la joya. Ella tiene un trabajo ahí. Y yo también voy a buscar un trabajo. Pues mire, soy muy fuerte, ¿eh? Sí. ¿Y tu papá? ¿Papá dónde está? Qué sé. Fue hace tiempo. Ven, hermanito. Pues... I wonder if he's hauling anything besides tomatoes. I think his tomatoes are wet. Ya lo que te digo. ¿Oíste? Yes, senor. Good evening. What's the problem, officer? Are my taillights out? No. It's just a routine check. What are you fellows doing up this time of night? Well, we, we have to deliver these tomatoes all the way up to L.A. That's my boy. I brought him along to help me. That's all you're hauling back there, tomatoes. <laughs> what else? Well, I thought maybe you might have some of your cousins stuck in the back there. 
My worthless cousins, I would haul on the manure, <laughs> not tomatoes. You misjudge me, senor. Well, maybe. I'd still like to have a look just to make sure. Would you hand me the keys with your left hand, please? As you say, officer. Andale, pues. You step out of the truck, please, and step to the rear. <laughs> well, what do you know? <coughs> All right, partner, let's get this other side open. Close it up. I think he phoned in the license. No, he didn't have enough time. Man, there are too many witnesses. And who are they going to talk to? Come on, let's go. Can I check that list with you here? Yeah. This belongs to him. Yeah, you know Tepsi on this? Sure. How long have you been? I just got here 45 minutes ago. Well, let me see what the, what's this thing? Herb, not yet. I'll tell you when. Sorry, Jeb. Just doing my job. Well, let me do mine first. I'm not going to go anywhere. You're the kid. You're a scooter. You. Billy, you see the tire tracks? Yeah, looks like a pretty heavy truck. I'll get Herb to get us some pictures. You know those sons of bitches rifle scooters, car, they took his star scope and I don't know what else. Do you think these mean anything? In the truck, maybe? What else you got here? It's so awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. So, where, what, where did you see him? Over there. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, here come those Phoebes. Run those tomatoes over to the university. Ask for Doc Warner in the lab and tell him I'll call him later. Okay. okay. FBI. Any ID on the kid? No, but he's wet. Shotgun, huh? They were shot here, landed over here, and were dragged down where you see them now. Sawed off. 
drugs? Yeah, that's what I figure. I'll check with San Ysidro Customs, see what came in last night. Hey, now, night. wait a minute. They could be aliens. Nobody kills for wetbacks. This kid was probably a mule, gotten away. Did your man return fire? The gun was never drawn. Oh, well. Uh, we're sorry about your man. We'll do what we can to get the guys that did it. Late getting in last night, Hotchkiss. They had the choppers on. Had to hold back up in the hills till they cleared. Everything's okay, though. Piece of cake. I heard a border patrolman got killed last night. A shotgun. It was on the news. By the description they gave, I thought it might have been near one of our pickup points. No. No, it must have been somewhere else. get hot around here for a few days. Maybe we should ship all the wets out and clean the place up. Yeah. Already in work. You know what time the funeral is? Uh, I think well, it's somewhere right around. I have no idea. already talked to you, but I still have a couple things. The FBI is officially conducting this investigation, but we're not going to wait for them. What we're looking for is an old paratroop boot with a gash in the left heel, and the driver is wearing a heavy ripple. From now on, every man here is on a 12-hour shift. No vacations, no sick pay, no time off. And when you're out there, remember that every truck and van is a possible load vehicle. I don't want anybody coming back here and giving me all that crap about probable cause. All right, let's go. Jimmy, you come with me. Tracks, all right.
Well, this is the place. And a lot of foot traffic through here, wouldn't you say? If you say so. Let's go. Telling me what we're doing? We're cutting sign, tracking. That's what we've been doing for the last hour. What are you gonna do next? Hold your ear to the ground? Come here. It's all right, come here. I'm just gonna mark your boot. Turn around. We always mark our own boots. I knew one little fart that didn't, though. One day, when he was working a section, he got all confused. Started to follow his own footprints. What happened to him? Well, he followed himself right up his own ass. We never did see him again. See that print? They came from there right down this way. How do you know it wasn't a cow? A cow has a cloven hoof, would have cut this grass. But a man pushes it down and sometimes bruises it. Although I did know a crazy bastard tied cow's hooves to his feet. Didn't work, though. Because the cow's got four legs, right? Right, now you're catching on. Some of these guys strapped tin cans, rugs to the bottom of their feet, even walked backwards. You sure go to a lot of trouble. Stakes are high. find these often? It's only the third time I've ever seen it, and all in the last couple of months. Oh, look at that. It's the same damn boot print. We're dealing with one damn smart polietto. Hey, man, what's happening? Look, boy, you're shaking like a junkie. You didn't hear what happened last night on the road? No, what? One of La Migra was killed. No shit. We're cruising down Highway 94. This dude pulls us over. El Marino blew him away. Just like that. One of the pollos got in the way. Un chavalito nomás así. He blew him away too. Se te la migra, no? Nobody knows except El Marino. Me and the whites. Don't say anything, man. Crazy bastard will kill the both of us. Lo que sea, I'm cool, okay? You got them all cleaned up? 
didn't let him mix with the others? I did, just like you said. Good. Load him up. Open the door. Ahora sí, entrele a la camioneta, pronto. A la camioneta. Ahora sí que nos vamos. Ándele, apúrenle. Entrele. Píquenle, píquenle. Píquenle pronto. Watch this. If the checkpoint is working at San Clemente, we're going to have to take the long way around to L.A. No, they're not going to L.A. That's too close. Arturo. Take them across I-10 to Phoenix. Put them on planes to Chicago. Chicago? All the flight information is in here. They've all got reservations. There's a lot more money in here than you're going to need. Tell them not to worry about anything. There'll be people waiting for them when they get off the planes. If you get a chance, give them a couple water breaks, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey. Amigo. Está todo bien. Hey, come on. Put a smile on your face. There's nothing to worry about. Come on, we're going to find a place to ditch this crate. You follow me. Okay, I'll follow you. In November, we delivered 4,690 units, Mr. Lydell, which is 21% up from the previous month. Good work, Richards. Very impressive. It is, considering these are traditionally slow months. We've managed to overcome that, make it a solid year-round business. 878 units came from countries other than Mexico. We're making up to $1,500 extra on each one of them. What's the bottom line? Well, last month we grossed $2,270,000. Drivers were paid $156,000. And guides were paid $319,000. And Hotchkiss took $310,000. That leaves a net to Lydell Industries of $765,000. That bastard gets as much out of this operation as I do. I know. But he's the key to it. Without him, we'd be lucky to move a thousand bodies a month. By the way, <clears throat> do you know anything about this? I heard about it. We're not involved, are we? No. But we plan a low profile for a week or so, just as a precaution. We're supposed to ship 2,000 around Christmas. I wouldn't want something stupid like this to screw things up. Don't worry. Good. Starting the first of the year, I want to increase our deliveries to 7,500 a month, of which at least 1,000 should be women. Can we do it? Well, I don't know. Winter's a slow time. Push on Hotchkiss. New York will take 2,000 a month. We can send them. We also have calls for at least a thousand each from Chicago, Boston, and Philadelphia. Tijuana is going to get awfully crowded. We'll do our best to use their population explosion. Keep up the good work, Richards. You know, someday this may be legitimate. It will be listed on the commodities exchange. Yeah. Trading in wet back futures. Wet back doesn't have a future. Where did you get this address? No. 
Why are you looking for this person? Well, there was a kid killed down on the border last night. He was a Mexican kid. He had that in his pocket. Come in, please. Put your hand on the yellow and, and your knee on the red. No, Would no, you no. mind waiting in here, please? Now, your elbow goes on the green. Get that hand up there. No, it's your knee on the red. And then your Elena, elbow on the green. could I see you a minute? Oh, yeah. Don't move till I get back. <laughs> This man needs to see you. Elena Morales? Who are you? His name is Jeb Maynard. Did you send this? Ah! Are you sure he was her son? Couldn't there be some mistake? No mistake. How did this accident happen? You know, Mrs. Morales, it wasn't an accident. Some was murdered. Some of the authorities believe that he was mixed up with drugs. Oh, no, never, never. I don't believe it either. I think he was being smuggled across the border. I also think you expected him here. You're La Migra? Yes, but um, I'm not here to harm you. You will have to go down and identify the body. No. But please, nobody will bother you. I'll take you down myself. Why? Why do you do this? I had a friend that was killed along with your son. All those reports came in right last night. Uh huh. We're gonna have to fill all that. Good. Okay, we're gonna get back. Right. Yeah. Hans sent in the money. He would still be alive today. I, I must take him home. I don't think you'll be able to do that. Your son was murdered, so they won't release the body. Never? No, not never, but not for a while. Mrs. Morales, is there anything you can tell me that might help me catch the killer? No. Is there anything you can tell me about the man that brought you across the border? Where he took you? Anything at all? I, I'm sorry, I do not remember those things. Mr. Maynard, I, I would like to help you, but... Will you find the man who did this? Oh, yes, we'll find him. It may take some time, but we'll find him. and certain hope of the resurrection unto everlasting life. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, let us pray. Dear God, in sorrow of heart, and in quietness and confidence, 
together for these last solemn and tender moments of faith and love. Lift us above the shadows and sadness of death. Speak to each of us thy word of peace. Two months from retirement, this happens. Doesn't seem fair. Yeah. Makes you wonder sometimes, huh? It's good to see you, Jeff, despite the circumstances. Uh, good to see you too, Malcolm. What's happening in Washington? Uh, same old bullshit. Still trying to get a decent bill through Congress so you can have the manpower and the equipment you need to send the tide out here. I mean, what's happening on Scooter's case with the FBI? It's still under investigation. Which means they haven't a damn thing to go on, right? You know, why don't they realize it has nothing to do with drugs? It has to do with smuggling aliens. Why would anyone kill for aliens? Oh, come on, Malcolm. For the money. Times have changed. It's a big business now. Hell, they're running us over coming across that border. Jeff, Jeff, don't start, huh? It's the FBI's department. They don't look for aliens. We don't look for killers and bank robbers, huh? Lay off. Field units, this is Sector. Does anybody copy? Seco 2, go ahead. The FBI found that truck we've been looking for on Highway 64. Hold on. Jeb! The FBI found that truck we've been looking for on Highway 64. Standard 68 Ford. It's stripped. No plates, no ID numbers. It's the truck, all right. The tire tracks match. It's drugs, just like we thought. How do you figure that? They must have had three tons of marijuana stashed in the back of this thing. We'll call drug enforcement on this one. I guess that blows your theory on wets, Maynard. We'll let you know if the lab comes up with anything. What do you think? He's one of them, but not the one we want. Hey, Chip. Yeah. You buy that drug stuff? Someone went to the trouble of removing all identification, but they leave a trace of marijuana like those bags. No, I don't buy them. So, satisfied? About the drugs? Yeah. yeah. Well, let the FBI take care of it. They know what they're doing. It's not our jurisdiction. It's theirs. Don't worry about it. Okay? Yeah, sure, okay.
uh, can we do this alone? Comadre, sálganse para afuera, ¿no? No le digan a nadie que el señor es gringo. your son, Mrs. Morales, he was not mixed up with the drugs. He was being smuggled across the border, just like I said, and the guy that was bringing him across killed him. You find the man? No. I'm having a lot of problems that way. As far as everybody else is concerned, the case is closed, and you're the only one that can help me. That's why I'm here. How? Well, you know the way that you came across the border into this country? Now, if you and me went down into Mexico and came back the same way... Oh, no, I couldn't. Mrs. Morales, it's not my way to threaten anybody, but I'll have to send you back on a Border Patrol bus. But if you go over with me, you have a chance of coming back. If I tell you where you can meet the, the arranger, isn't that enough? I couldn't get away with it alone. My Spanish isn't good enough to pass as a Mexican. That spot me right away. Yeah, 
agarraron. Mire, jefe, este es mi primo de Michoacán. Se viene conmigo. No, no, pobrecito, jefe. Está tarado, no habla bien. Pues no importa, tú puedes hablar por los dos, ¿eh? Todavía hay tiempo, vamos. Oye, no delante de mi primo, ¿quieres? Te puedo hacer ahorrar dinero. Como antes, ¿te acuerdas? No, ¿eh? Está bien. El precio ha aumentado. Son 300 dólares ahora. Ni más, ni menos. ¿Lo tengo? Espérense aquí un rato, vamos a descansar, ¿eh? Señor, ¿qué es eso? Es un ojo de gato para ver en la noche. Fíjate, los ves allá. Ah. Híjole, es mágico, mano. <risa> Algo así, pero no. Oye. ¿Dónde lo compraste? No lo compré, me lo regaló el, el gabacho que se encarga de este asunto. Le decimos el marino. Se lo quitó a alguien que ya no lo necesita. Aquí está, eh. Los atrás, quédense. Quédense juntos. Cuidado con el árbol aquí. ¡Párense! ¡Párense, hija! ¿Dónde van? Por favor, señores. Nosotros somos gente humilde. Nada más buscamos trabajo. Pues qué mamá. Para que le puedes dar a tragar a más mojados. ¡Chérense! El dinero hoy es el suelo. ¡Rófido! ¡Rófido! ¡Dame tú también, güey! ¡Púrate! ¡Ándale, ándale! ¡Dame tú! ¡Tú también! ¡Rápido! ¡Que tú! ¡Dame todo! 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 ¡Dame Get the hell out of here! 
Come on. Rapido. Hombre. Antonio. Su cumpleaños. What is this? Alto, somos immigración. Glad to see you're hard at work, Willie. What the hell are you doing out here? Whose side are you on, anyway? It's a long story. I'll tell you about it later. Can we go? Yeah, yeah. What do you do now? I don't know. And me? What about you? When will you send your men here to pick me up? Will I have time to pack my clothes? Or will you pick me up like the coyote do across the border? Just a minute. Wait a minute, listen. After the holidays, why don't you get in touch with me and I'll try to help you get permanent resident status, okay? Will you do that? Sure. You tried to help me, I'll try to help you. Uh, thank you. Jeb? It's me, Jimmy. Oh, hi. It's a beautiful day. Oh, yeah? Uh, why don't you go out there and enjoy it, you know? I don't see it tomorrow. You told me about your trip across the border. Sounded like fun. I was pretty close to something, but I blew it. That's too bad. So what now? Uh, if somebody gets a brilliant idea, I guess we're going to have to do it the hard way. Hope maybe we can find those boot prints someplace else sometime. Maybe we can improve the odds a little. How's that? Remember those tomatoes I found near Scooter's body? 
That guy down at the university lab came up with something very interesting. They were sprayed with a pesticide called diazinon. Real deadly stuff. Only the biggest commercial growers can get a permit. So I checked it out at the agricultural office. It seems nearly a thousand people put in for pesticide permits last year. But only 86 used diazinon. Hey, am I boring you or what? Yes, but uh, it's educating. Go ahead. Well, I just wanted to tell you that uh, out of the 86, only six grow tomatoes. Hmm? What? Six? Yeah, six. Hey, that's a damn fine piece of tracking. I'm proud of you. You did well. I thought we were going home. Now he wants to stick around. All right, boys, you all received your assignments. Do you know what you're looking for? Yeah, right. The guy we're looking for is Anglo. Remember that. We'll work our way west from the Glen Allen Ranch. Let's not waste daylight. Okay. Echo 1, this is Echo 4. We got a bunch near Pipers and we'll need a couple of vans. Any of the Manglos? Negative. Let him go. Repeat. I said let him go. We're only looking for Anglos. Jeb says spring him. What the hell for? We're only looking for Anglos. And what the hell are we doing out in the field like this? How the this? hell am I supposed to know? Oh, I tell you, this shit's turned old Jeb's head around. Valiente. Valiente, Valiente. No preguntes nada. Out here, Willie. Well, I followed a group of workers through the fields down the road, and this is where they led me. How many of them are there? Uh, 25 or 30. What do you want to do? You want to bust them? No, I want to check out the ranch house first. Hey, Jimmy, if you want a closer look, go ahead. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's okay. time. Go ahead. Sin miedo, no lo voy a arrestar. ¿Sí? ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que vives aquí? Dos meses. ¿Dos meses? Sí. ¿Todos ustedes? Sí, todos. ¿Trabaja en este rancho? Sí. Cuídate.
cut traffic in half. We should have made 4,500 dynamic units. It's 2,000 less than what we want to put in. We need 10,000 a month next year. Carl, you're getting greedy. Well, the amigos here. You two stay out of sight. What do you think they want? It's just routine. But what about the stuff in the bar? No, they won't even look. Okay. Take it easy. Relax. Hey, look, man, the guy in the mustache. He was in the group I brought over the other night. You're crazy. No, man, I'm sure. That's the head honcho of the La Mesa station. Get out of here. Hi, Carl. How you doing? Holding up. Come to bust my gardens? Well, I did notice you have a whole new crew working the back property. Maybe I will. I don't know why you go to all this trouble after all these years. You know we can't get anyone else to do this work? Not for the wages you pay. You have some more hidden around, maybe in the barns, in the house? No. Mind if I take a look? Yes. Not very neighborly. I don't think it's very neighborly to go around busting people who are trying to better themselves. When I take them off here, they better themselves. I don't suppose you'll let us have a drink of water? Sure. You can use the hose like everyone else. Yeah, Richards is a real sweetheart. He's got these people living in shit, and he's got the ball to act as if he cares about them. Well, he doesn't care about them. It's the economics he cares about. Hey, wait a minute. Look at this. Hey, Willie! Oh, come here! That print belongs to the guy we're looking for. Jesus. Spread the men out, see if they can spot him. You bet. Where the hell are they gone? Sign the grant, Gianni Papelli. No quarry. Andy, never mind those two. Check with Willie right over there. All right. What the hell is going on? I'm going to have a look in your house. You don't get inside the house without a warrant. What's the problem, Carl? Somebody turn in your cleaning lady? Some guys never outgrow the need to play cowboys and Indians. Don't be too harsh on my buddy here. He needs all the help he can get. I'll see you tomorrow, Carl. Take it easy. Excuse me. We can't afford to lay off right now. We've got 2,000 wets on order by the end of the month. Half the money's already in with another million due on delivery. We have got to maintain our credibility. I think it's too risky. Maynard's on to something. I can just feel it. You're overreacting. Look, he's like a bulldog. He gets something between his teeth he doesn't let go. How long would it take you to put 2,000 wets together? Overnight. But that's not the problem. It's getting them across the border We're and off the ranch. That's the problem. All in one day. That's impossible. Nothing's impossible. We're going to do it Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. La Mesa always runs a skeleton crew then. The day after Christmas, the ranch will be clean again. I still don't think it can be done. Richards, it will be done.
We're making one big run tomorrow night. We're bringing 2,000 wets across, and we're moving them off this ranch in less than 12 hours. It's impossible. No, it isn't. For working Christmas Eve, you'll each receive a bonus of $1,000. Okay. We're all taking the Mother Grundy truck trail. What about our Migra sensors? Yeah. yeah. Arturo and I tore out the sensors yesterday afternoon. Now we hit the trail at 30 minute intervals. Arturo's load goes first. <coughs> I'll bring the last group through. It's imperative that each group hit the trail and the road at the time designated for it to do so. If you have any problems, if you cannot make it on time, ditch your group and leg it home. We've got no time for screw ups. Any questions? the board a couple nights ago. Now you remember? You remember me? Remember? You remember? I'm freshen up your memory damn quick. Now you remember? Hey. Hey, you killed a friend of mine and a little boy about a week ago. Yes, and now I killed you, you son of a bitch. I didn't kill him, man. It was the Marino. It was the Marino. What's his real name? Artikis. 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 What you look like? What you look like? He's a white guy about your size. He's got blonde hair. He killed the meat. Okay, listen. Something big coming down at that ranch. I want you to tell me about it. I want you to uh, I want you to set up hot kids for me. You hear? Huh? You hear? Yes. If I tell you, I go free. You go free if I nail him. Okay. All right. Hey, Denny. Yeah, well, he's got to come in. Have Christmas dinner a little late. Can't look. I can't help him. I can't help him. Something's going down. Down. What kind of? Of course I know what's going on. I know it's Christmas Eve. Just tell him. 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 Just tell I want to remind everybody not to be too anxious tonight and jump the gun. We want to hit him inside the ranch property, which is about right here. Also, I want to remind you to check your flashlights, walkie-talkies, scopes, and especially your firearms. We might have use for them tonight. Any questions?
are, Wally, let's move in. Jimmy, you go with him. Right. Will you in that position the men so that the entire area is covered? Right. an operation you got here. Really classy. How many men were in here? Just those two. Sure you're not seen now.
What do you think Hoshkiss is? He's supposed to be in the last truck. Got a lot, got a lot of fellows. Some leader right through there, huh? Quickly, quickly, Vamos. adelante, adelante. Vamos, 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 vamos. vamos, vamos, vamos. Get busy out there. Paso suave, 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 todo el mundo. Paso, paso. paso. Starting to run behind schedule. Ronto, sí, sí. Ronto, sí. Charlie, this guy's dangerous. You be careful. Right. Stop at the house. Get them in the barn. I gotta talk to Richards. We're running late.
End of the road. statement regarding the trial, Mr. Lydell. I was never concerned because I knew the charges were groundless. You have to believe in the American system. And I'll tell you something. The system works. In a month, you'll be back in business. It's okay, kid. So will we.